Hello guys, welcome back to Yakuza Kiwami. Alright. So, we have now had a chance to, uh, you know, have the game world open up again. So, we will take advantage of that opportunity, and we will start doing some sub-stories. So, how many? There's a bunch now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Some of these we probably can't do. We can't, probably can't do this one yet. Wait a minute. What do we need? I think actually the one item we needed to get from the Coliseum. So we might be able to do that. And what was the other one we needed? There were a couple of quests we couldn't do. Oh, the one was um, the briefcase guy. He's over here. There's a quest in Vincent. Where am I actually? Shoot. I don't want to go. You know what? We're up here. Let's go turn in that briefcase. I wonder if... Is Majima everywhere open? It's probably not, right? I presume it's locked because he's injured. I was hoping it would unlock just because then we could make way more character progress. Uh, I just want to pop over here for a second, because this is where Majima appears. He's there. What the fuck? He's just chilling? He's fine? You're going to attack me? I'm on break. Okay, weird. Very weird. Okay. Yeah, so the one thing I was going to say, it's funny. I, um, I'm very, 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 very much enjoying this game. Although I do see some more flaws than I saw in Yakuza 0. Anytime I'm pointing out those things, that is not me trying to shit on the game. I think this game is fucking amazing, okay? So I just want to point that out just uh, just in case anyone thinks I'm shitting on it. But yeah, you can see how there's certain things that there's co costs to. I like the Majima Everywhere system. I find it a lot of fun. But you can see how, like, if, if you weren't interacting with him in this kind of goofy, like, oh, I'm trying to help you, buddy. Instead, it was like... You just see him pop up, and he's a super fucking violent, unhinged, like, Joker-like character that's, like, really kind of haunting and unpredictable and, like, a really super mentally ill, like, unpredictable. I have no idea if, if this guy is going to be my friend or fucking stab me. Like, super unpredictable way. Um, the, the, the impact is different. And it's interesting because... You can see there's aspects where it's like, there's certain aspects where, where you can see why a game would be better if you started with like Yakuza 1, or if you started with this one, or if you started with Yakuza 0. So it's interesting going about and seeing where like the different strengths and weaknesses are. <sighs> this is it, may as well noose myself. Okay, he's depressed about his briefcase. I got one from the homeless man. Okay, let's show it to him. Boy. Hey, is this your briefcase? Y y yes, that's it. Why do you have it? Uh. I gave a drunk some sake, who gave me a coat that I gave to a homeless guy, who gave me some glasses that I gave to a salary man, who gave me some tape that... Never minds. <laughs> oh, the inside is all accounted for, too. Well, okay. I'm just really glad it turned up. But, uh, you didn't see what was in it, did you? Never opened it. Oh, that's a relief. You literally saved my life. I know. I want you to have this. So, who cares? It was pretty expensive. Are you sure? Of course. You came to my rescue in the greatest crisis I've ever encountered. So this is truly the least I can do. I've got to get back to work. Thank you so much. The sake, the worn out coat, the glasses, super adhesive tape, the briefcase, and now this expensive watch. I don't know how, but I turned a cheap bottle of alcohol into an expensive watch. <laughs> I guess it's true what they say about one good turn deserving another. Okay. Wait, do I have the right... Do I have the experience thing equipped? I do. Right now, all we care about... Oh, there's another quest up there. Right now, what we really care about is experience. Uh... Is it you? Cool. What's that noise? Seems to be coming from over there. Man, I'm so hungry. 
That sound must have been his stomach. He seems pretty hungry. wonder if he's alright. I can't help thinking about this kid. I'd feel pretty guilty if he went hungry. Might as well say hello. Hey, kid. Eh? What? Are you hungry? Oh, you could hear my stomach rumbling. That's embarrassing. Mm. But yeah, I'm a little hungry. I see. I can give you some food. <laughs> Hang in there, kid. I should probably give him something to eat. I thought I could give him something, but I don't have anything on me. Sorry, I just ate my last four burgers. That's okay, mister. Thanks for trying anyway. See ya. Okay. We'll deal with you in a little. What's going on in here? I'm so bad I don't have to, like, fucking beat a pool or darts tournament or some shit. Wait, where... Is it the bartender? Hmm. Hey, you. Hmm? You talking to me? Oh. Yeah, got some time you can spare me? Not exactly, but what do you need? Just looking for someone to lend me an ear. Come on over, sit, have a drink. Okay, why not? Uh. <laughs> All right. So you want something? Sure do. I've been asking everyone who comes through this place. Got a small favor to ask. Is this some kind of scam? I'm not interested. Just hear me out. You don't happen to have 2,000 yen bill, do you? 2,000 yen bill? No, I don't. Is there even such a thing? Seriously? Already at the point where people don't know they exist? Sorry, I'm not exactly up to speed on current events. Oh, were you living abroad or something? Something like that. Well then, I guess you get a pass. The 2,000 yen bill is a new bill issued in the year 2000. The treasury issued it to commemorate the Okinawa summit. It even got a little more buzz because the two on the bill resembled the American $20 bill. Five years ago, huh? Yeah, that would explain why I don't know about it. But a 2,000 yen bill, just because it's the year 2000, that sounds a little lame. Anyway, what about it? I'm a collector, you see, and my collection is currency from various countries. So naturally, I wanted to add the 2,000 yen bill to my collection. There's a problem. The government didn't actually issue it as a comm commemorative bill. If it was going into wide circulation, I figured I could get it at any time, so I wasn't exactly making an effort. Yeah, I guess at that point, it'd be no different than collecting a 1,000 or 5,000 yen bill. Uh... Exactly, but the problem is... This 2,000 yen bill is disappearing from circulation at an alarming rate. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Money just changes hands from one guy to the next. Why would bills start disappearing? I don't know what's going on. But the bill has practically become phantom currency. As a collector, I can't stand for this. Uh. So I've decided to collect them on my own, but I'm having a real rough go of it. So I was hoping I could recruit some help. I see. I get what you're saying, but I don't know that I can really help you out much. True, perhaps you're right. But, if there were someone helping me, it sure would go faster. And I would, of course, compensate you for your trouble. For every 2,000 yen bill you bring me, I'll pay you 20,000 yen. That's a pretty good deal, isn't it? So, 2,000 yen becomes 20,000 yen. I can't argue with that. But is it really worth that to you? <laughs> Just because the numbers on the bill tell you what it's worth, it doesn't mean it can't be worth more. Besides, each and every bill has a history of its own. There's something interesting about the bills that simply didn't catch on and stop being circulated. You can follow its history. So that's how you see it. Indeed it is. So, if you find a 2,000 yen bill somewhere, can you bring it to me? My collection is going to need five of them, specifically. Uh. Five, huh? Okay, if I find one, I'll bring it to you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I should probably introduce myself. My name is Takanashi. What's yours? Here you. Here you, Chan, huh? All right, consider it memorized. Thanks for searching for those 2,000 yen bills. Uh. No problem. Hmm. So are these going to show up on the map or... How do we go about finding them? Let's talk to him for a second. <laughs> how am I to go, supposed to go about finding these specific ones? I'll give you some advice on how to snag one of these elusive bills. Entertainment centers tend to really rake in the cash. Maybe you could take a break and keep your eye out. That's all the advice I've got to give. I'm looking forward 
Huh. Entertainment centers. This is an entertainment center. Hmm. Hmm. No. So do I need to actually like play games like Hmm. Uh okay, I think we'll come back to that one. Phone call from Yuya. Oh, this guy. Okay. Oh fuck, is it it's night again. Shit. When it was day I I, I wanted to go to um in Act 5. I wanted to go to the fucking Pronto, but then I, I, I immediately forgot. Shit. That's too bad. Um. <gasps> what the fuck? Wait a second. Do you see what I see? That was Bacchus. What the shit? In like 24 hours, they scrubbed this place and renamed it. I would not be drinking. You look a lot like a guy who was shot. That's weird. I guess they're like, well, we don't want to waste this interior. Oh, shit. Okay. I am too drunk. Okay, so this is another completion point we can go and get later. All right. Ooh. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, sorry, buddy. You okay? You okay? I apologize. For what I'm about to do. All right. Hope you had a good nap. Take care. I'll see you later when I need some more cash. So I think we got a few more keys. A couple more. What the fuck? Is that for selling? That's pr for roulette or something? What, what? No, that's probably for one of the um, homeless games, I'm guessing. Okay, listen. I want to do something. I want to do something really badly. I want to tie up a loose end. There we go. We got like a couple levels from that, I think. Are they giving more XP now that we're a bit farther? Uh, where am I? There we go. Okay. Let's save. All right. Can I battle with you in a serious match, Professor? At your level, I won't beat you if I hold back. Let's have a serious battle. Oh, 
All right, let's get a new card in. Went with that. Okay. That's the only possible one. Beautiful. Okay, and what does he have? Amazing. Shit. We should have chosen um, the scissors person. Fuck. I want to do this again, but choose the scissors guy. Because we're going to get destroyed with our setup. Yep. I think we lose right here. I'm just going to let this end quickly. What? He got rid of my special. What the fuck? Come on, just kill me already. Come on, just kill me already. I want to switch my uh, my bug. There we go. Okay, do it. So here's the deal. I think the only strategy we want... So I think he operates completely randomly. I think what we want to do is... Really love your title, Professor. You do seem to know your stuff. You're not so bad yourself, mister. I thought I would lose. You should fight again if you'd like. Okay. I think what we want to do is we just want to have a strong thing that he... He is weak against. And that way, if we keep spamming it... We'll just realistically... Probably win based on odds. Because if he hits us with rock, it will hurt us less than if he hits us with paper. So we'll never let him hit us with paper. And if he uses his strong one, then he'll take extra damage. Okay, that's the goal. Uh, wait, what am I doing? This one. Okay, these are all the same. Okay, let's try this out. Let's hope he uses the same card, though. Unless he always goes for your weakness. That would suck. Okay. Okay, looks like he went with the same guy. Okay, so we're just always going to go scissors. Do I do more damage to him 
when I do when we both do scissors. Okay, this is our big damage. I think this is a four attack one, right? Nice, that hurt. Let's keep going. Okay, we're gonna get hurt. Oh. Wait, they heal. Wait, what? Jesus. That did a lot of damage. Oh, and I can't do my special. Yes. I think we won. I hope we won. If not, it'll be close. Uh, I don't think we won. I think we were going to have a sliver left. Oh, we did it. Beautiful. I, I didn't think I could lose. I didn't think I could win, to be honest. It frustrates me that I lost, but part of me feels happy to think that there could still be even stronger players yet to be discovered. Hey, mister, take a look at this. Mm -hmm. This is the card I got right before our battle, mister. Is that card? Oh. Yep, it is. This is the same card as the one you found for me when we met for the first time. Uh. That's right. I remember. I've always wanted to have this card, so we can both have one, mister. Please take it. Oh, that's the one that he's using. Oh, that's cool. It's a 200 power paper one. Let's stay friends and play again soon, Mr. Mesu King. Uh. Sure. I look forward to it. I can always use more Mesu King. <laughs> I'll think up a new amazing deck to await you. Yeah, like one that uses rock instead of paper. You can try hard, but you'll need to come to tutoring too. <laughs> oh, you may chan. You can't be playing Mesu King all the time. There's a lot of schoolwork to do too. Hi. Yes. Oh. Mr. Mesu King, battle with me. N nuh uh. I'm gonna have Mr. Mesu King give me a lesson first. I wanna see how he uses his bees. Wait, did I just use a bee? Hey, Tomohiro, this is the card you wanted, right? I already have one, so I bought an extra one for you to have. Professor, I want you to tell me about the deck. Uh, I want to tell you about the deck I wanna play. Hey, Professor, I'm here to play. Everyone. <laughs> all right. Today, let's all play Mesu King. Woo! To think that such a wholesome children's game could exist. Battle Bug Beauty's Mesu King. Thank you. <laughs> right. The most wholesome of games. Okay. Oh, that's lots of XP. That was worth. Okay. We are finally done. Dung. Dung Beetle. Get it? Bugs? Oh my god. You can tell when I've uh, played too much <laughs> game in a row. <laughs> when I start just <laughs> completely flubbing every word. Uh, we're finally done that quest line, which is nice. Okay. I do want to see something before we move on. Whoa. That's only for beast mode, but that is crazy. That is really good. An explosive attack executed in bear claw stance. This is also beast mode. Just as you're attacked, a Herculean attack only usable with a carefully trained body. Weird. So you use taunt, right, when you're calm. Okay, interesting. Wait, boost defense to maximum while doing resist guard. 
Oh, that, but that heat mode. I see, I see, I see. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. Let's see how we're doing. For completion, 80%. And for sub-stories, 43. Okay. What is over here? Oh, you know what? Mm, actually, yeah, let's do this right away. What the? You okay, dude? Move it! Out of my goddamn way! Oh, you think you got me cornered now? What? Well, I'm not going down without a fight. Huh? You seem confused. You're gonna forget you ever saw me. You okay, dude? Let's talk now. Damn. You're no ordinary heavy. Who the hell are you? You just picked a fight with me for no reason at all. Because I still have no idea what's going on here. Mm -hmm. Wait. Are you Kiryu? Of the Dojima family? Have we met? Mm -hmm. <laughs> More infamous than you think. But if that's the case, you're not with the guys trying to hunt me down. You're on the run? Yeah. The family I just left is on my trail. I took one look at you, and I figured you must have been with them. Oh. Well, I'm not. Oh. Yeah, sorry about that. Here, this is for the trouble I've caused. Keep it. Ooh, nice. I better move. The longer you're involved with me, the more trouble you're in. Where will you go? I wonder if there's going to be a part two of this quest. Even the Yakuza is no joke. <laughs> right. Every day I stay alive is a blessing. Anyway, good luck, Dragon of Dojima. You're a goddamn legend. Either the, I feel like there's either going to be a sequel to that, or he's a character in a future game. I have no fucking clue. He looks a little bit too generic to be a character in a future game, though, to me. That was a very, very fast quest. Okay, what is this? Oh, that's the girl that he wants us to see perform. Now, why is there a quest at the lockers? Does that mean that... Oh, his locker is going to be part two of the quest. I see. I see. It's. I thought there was going to be a follow-up. But the reward is the follow-up. Hey, hold up. Hmm? That locker key you have. We know who gave you that. You bumped into our little friend, right? Ready. Who? Oh, yeah, I did. That was the guy who said his Yakuza family was chasing him down for trying to leave. The item in that locker belongs to our family. So just hand over the key and get it out of here. Is that 10 billion yen? Because that would uh, change this game very quickly. Sorry, but you're in no position to be making claims on my property. Your property? You must be dumber than you look. And when we're done, you're going to look even dumber. Bam. That's the classic. I'm excited for Dragon of Dojima to eventually actually become good. I wonder at what point it actually starts feeling good. Because I hear the Dragon of Dojima style gets really strong. But I feel like currently Brawler is like kicking the shit out of it. I feel like I got hit by a truck. I don't know what your problem is, but this locker key was a gift, so get out of my face. You don't know what you're unleashing, man. When you're carrying around what you find in there, you'd better watch your back. Is it going to, like, draw encounters or some th shit? What the hell could be so important to them in there? Charismatic photo. Is this just a photo of their patriarch? If I try to use this, it's going to make me look like an idiot. Huh. Doesn't seem like it was worth fighting a bunch of Yakuza over, was it? Charismatic photo. What the fuck? That's a lot of XP. We only need two more lockers. Okay. Big upgrade. Big upgrade time. Fuck. 
Yes. That is huge. Okay. What's up, dude? Yeah, some of these sub-stories in this game are so fast. Wait, is this Pronto? I want to check it out. I don't... I think this still counts as night, so I don't think we can get what we need. Okay, it's too bad. Oh, uh, it's so annoying, because I think in, like, the last video, I was like, oh, okay, now it's time to go to Pronto. I think I even said something like, okay... Now we have to do, and then I just got distracted by like a quest or some shit. How the fuck? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna unequip this. I wonder what that does. Oh shit, this is bad. How did it go this far? Shit, let's get out of here. What are you doing? We gotta go, now. Ah. We're gonna get caught? Huh? What was all that about? Hey, are you okay? He's not dead. He's fine. He's dead. Those two must have mugged him and then. He's clearly pretty beaten. And his wallet's gone. Oh. He's getting a call on his cell. Let's do it. It's probably a friend calling. I need to let his loved ones know that this man was killed. It's me. That back alley is a no-go. I'll be in touch. Nanny. What? Hold on a second. I already told you. No questions. In that case, let's just leave the phone and ditch. What was that call even about? Whoops. I must have accidentally brought the man's phone with me. It's probably a friend calling. I need to let the loved ones know that this man was killed. There's a bar on the east side of the Millennium Tower. The one where the owner got murdered. You'll find a woman standing in front of that bar. Get a locker key from her. Oh, another locker key. The shady guy again. Hey. This isn't my cell. Hold on, this isn't even my cell. I found it. Yeah, <laughs> this is no time for jokes. You have your orders, now get to it. Damn, you hung up on me again. So I need to get a locker key from a lady standing in front of a bar near Millennium Tower. Where is this taking me? Okay, does the charismatic photo mean, like, randos attack you? Beautiful. Uh, okay, let's go to... Uh, what is it called? Bantam? Hmm? Is that the woman the guy on the phone was talking about? Okay. Let's get wasted first. Can 
Can I help you? I was told you'd have a key for me. The password is... Then. A password? That wasn't part of the instructions I got. <laughs> I'm kidding. This is an up a bit, huh? If you're this tense about getting a key, there's no way you'll be able to pull off a hit off the hit. A hit? Stop repeating everything I say, you fool. Just take the key and go. Received the locker key. You got your key now. My job here is done. See you around, maybe. Hey, hold on. Who are you exactly? Look, I was only told by the guy on the phone to give you the key. That's all I know. And that's how I want to keep it. I wonder if this is Simon. Is this Simon? Maybe if I open up the locker, I'll be able to figure out, uh, finally figure out what's going on here. I wonder if this is Simon. I suddenly suspect Simon is a recurring character in the series. It's a knife. Hmm. He's already calling, huh? Yeah, this must be him. Did you retrieve the item from the locker? Yeah, what am I supposed to do with this knife? It used to belong to a certain member of a certain family. We're going to use it on the job to make it more poetic. What job? That would be ridiculous. The only jobs we ever contact you for are the ones that involve erasures. As soon as I find out the target's location, we'll be in touch. This is starting to sound dangerous. Okay, they'll be in touch. Um. Yeah, I don't know what the deal with the charismatic photo is. Here, you know what? Let's check something, okay? Yakuza Kiwami. Charismatic photo. What's the charismatic photo do? Since it's worth 100,000 points in the Colosseum, I'm guessing it has some use. Uh, it increases the frequency of uh, fights. Weird. Okay. Well, we're unequipping that. We'll put this on instead. All right. Mm. Did what? Did this one appear? I think that one might have appeared when we got the uh, locker key. I don't remember that there. Or when we got the knife, I should say. Yep. He's calling again. Hey, it's me. I've got the target's location. Where are you now? In front of the theater. <laughs> How fortuitous. The target should be in your general vicinity. He's wearing a gray suit. About six feet tall. Real tough-looking Yakuza guy. Right now, he's talking on the cell phone. He has kind of a stupid look on his face. Wait a minute. Make sure you use the dagger you found in the locker. Once the job's done, meet me at the batting Good. cages. Hold on. Are you telling me that the target's name is... Yes, I have his name. Kazuma Kiryu. Don't botch this. I'm heading to the batting cages now. Make contact soon. Seriously? The dead guy I found was hired to kill me? This is ridiculous. But if I want to get to the bottom of what's going on here right, and find the truth, I better head to the batting cages. Okay, that's uh, an interesting turn I did not actually foresee. Let's see. Let's save just in case. Is 
there going to be a uh, 2,000 yen thing in here? Hmm. You're causing a cure you, right? No way. Why are you alive? I found a phone and you kept calling me on it. Last thing you told me was to kill myself with a dagger. <laughs> what? What's going on? I guess I got no choice. I'm going to silence you myself. We're fighting in here? Is there anything cool I can pick up? Dude, fuck off. <laughs> that crunchy sound. Stomp on him. Oh. Okay, you know what? What is this? An ashtray. What kind of monster are you? Spill it. Who sent you after me? I won't tell. I'm no snitch. Are you saying you'd rather die? Because you will. All right, fine. I don't have all the details. I was hired by someone inside the Tojo clan. He never gave me a name, but I know he's one of the officers. You must have some idea why the Tojo clan would be after you, right? But you've got to tell me, where did you get that phone? Uh. I found out on a man who'd been killed by muggers. I guess he was unlucky. <laughs> so I see. Well, I'm not but much better off. You mess up in this world, you may as well be dead. The client's probably already figured out how they're going to silence me for good. Let me buy my freedom a little bit longer with this. <gasps> All you have to do is let me go and... <laughs> Don't you let them kill you. You're too tough for that. Oh my god, look what we got. So, what are you planning to do? I'm just gonna run like the wind. I doubt I'll make it very far before I'm caught, though. I see. I don't have anything else that would benefit you. So if you don't mind, I'd better go. So this is not Simon. Oh, you forgot this. You're giving him the dagger? Oh. Right. Thanks for that. And good luck. Okay, that was cool. What are you, what is your deal? Um I beat all these I I didn't beat oh, I can't remember if I beat at Oh, that's the beginner course. Oh, I see. I see. I see. All right. Okay. We got that item. That was a loose end we couldn't complete. Me. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, where is this place? Where is it? It's not here. Okay, where the fuck is this place? Oh, there it is. Oh my god, there's so many quests in this area. Oh, 
Listen, guys, I don't care about what you're doing, but you're in my way, so... God damn it. Nice. I don't know why there's a boiling kettle on the ground in an alley, but... Oh, because it's outside a ramen place? Okay. The lucky charm is called the goddess of children amulets. Okay, if I win, I have it. Let's give it. Is this the amulet, amulet you're looking for? Oh, yes. Can I really have that? All right, all right, all right. Is this really all you need to pay back your tab? What? You don't believe me? This amulet isn't like those cheap knockoffs. It's the real deal, is it? Yeah. I was skeptical at first, too. I thought I was winning all those games with my own skills. I figured the amulet was just for luck and peace of mind. But as soon as I lost the amulet, I stopped winning. Like, not a single game. The difference felt like falling from heaven to hell. That's when I realized that the goddess of children amulet was actually winning my games for me. <laughs> That's pretty tough to believe. All that matters is that I can win again now. I'll pay the barkeep back real soon. Thanks for this. Just make sure you don't run off again. If you don't pay your debts, I'm what you get. I know. I know. I'm going to win big and pay it all back real soon. And with that, I'm off to play. I like how the, we're like, we're here to collect your debts. He's like, can I have a present? We're like, okay, yes, here's a present. Job well done. We did it. Now we're walking out of here like, wait a minute. We were supposed to get money from him, but instead we gave money to him. The fuck? Okay. Let's go back to uh, Shellac. Oh. Sorry, guy. Oh. Sorry, guys. Oh. oh my god, here's another fight. Yeah, these guys are getting more help. Ow, ow, ow. That hopefully just means more experience, though. Ow. Hey, dude. You need to fuck off before you hurt yourself. Hey, what's up? Hey, man. It's me, the guy with the amulet. Oh. Or like the guy who owes the bar. How'd it go? Did you win? Yeah. I'm slowly working myself into the black, but my biggest score is yet to come. Yet to come. Well, I shouldn't be saying this in public, but do you know you can bet on boxing matches in this town? And when you win, you win big. So I'm going to make this my main bet from now on. Really looking forward to the match. I see. I don't know much about that scene. Yeah. If you're interested, you should look into it. I'm going to double down on this match. Good. I see. Wait a minute. Before you put big money on this match, did you take care of your tab with the bar? You did take care of your tab with the bar, right? I keep my promises. The barkeep and I are square. You are. <laughs> yeah. 
So now I can get back to what's really important. Gambling. I can't thank you enough. See you around. I better go check to see if he really paid his tab. Wait, where the... Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the fucking street. Oh. oh, you're my savior. The Yakuza finally came by to pay their overdue tab. Really? That's good to hear. Looks like the Yakuza was telling the truth. You saved my marriage. Thank you so much. Please accept this token of my gratitude for collecting this money for me. 50,000 yen. Okay. Thank you so much. Please come again. A goddess of child amulet. Does it really have an effect? I should try using it sometime to find out. Beautiful. Okay. How's our substory going? 46 out of 78. Okay, we still have a lot of substories left. I wonder if the Komaki training counts as substories. Because if so, there's going to be not nearly as many substories as I thought. But I, I kind of doubt it is. This game kind of separates those things out, it seems like. Hey, get out of my way. Don't be an icy bitch, woman. I lost everything I had on that pachinko. I know you got some cash on you, right? Not any that I'm going to give you. Fine. And how about you and me head to a hotel? You can help me forget all my woes. I better step in before this gets worse. Stop it. She's not interested. What the hell's your problem? <laughs> he was dead before the second fucking quick time event input. What do you think you're doing? They just beat up her boyfriend? Who the hell is this guy? This is voice acted. Round two? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Man with a big head. <laughs> this woman is so annoying right now. Holy shit. あ、お前さん、ご苦労様です。実は、ジンペラがカップルを脅しておりまして。大丈夫ね。大丈夫なのどういうことま、カップルの血は原価ってやつだね。<笑> They are the most inseparable couple. Huh? 
俺もしょっぱなに勘違いしたが署まで同行してもらうぞ違うんだ一緒に警察に行きましょうはあ私も勘違いをしたそしてあなたも勘違いをしたここは男らしく言い訳せずお縄につくという Who the fuck is this guy? 何言ってんだお互い正当防衛ださっさと逃げねえと面倒になるぞ逃げるスポーツマンは決して逃げたりしない何つまりどういうことなんだあの男が女性から金をせびろうとして女性は嫌がっていた血は原価とは知らなかった止めに入ったら男が俺に喧嘩を吹っかけてきたんだそうなのかはいすみませんお騒がせしてそして途中この顔のでかい男が急に入ってきてチンピラをやっつけちまったそうですなるほどもういいかすみませんでした Who is this guy? いやもういいですいやそれでは許されないそうだ私に同じ技をかけてくださいいや好きな技を好きなだけかけてもらってさあ遠慮なくさあ<笑>すまなかったなあんたには迷惑かかっちまったいえそれにしてもすごい技だったな柔道をやってたのかでは篠原さん最近は物騒ですからお気をつけて、oh. 篠原なんで名前をあんた有名なのか現役はもう引退してましてそれでまあちょっとした観光にでもこういう場所を歩くのは慣れていないんで迷ってるうちにさっきの現場に出くわしまして本当にご迷惑をおかけしまして申し訳ありませんそうだったのか迷惑かけたついてだ俺でよければ案内するぜ本当ですかよろしくお願いします All right. Is this a recurring character or is this like a cameo? Let's see, you have anywhere specific you want to go? I、uh, kind of came back to town recently, so I'm probably not the perfect tour guide. Guess all that exercise worked up an appetite. Why don't we go grab something to eat? If you're looking for good food, barbecue is the way to go. I know a place. Is this the、uh, can rye or whatever it's called? It is. This is a very, very extremely weird quest. Here we are. This is the place for meat and camarocha. Oh, it looks pretty expensive. Are you gonna be okay picking up the tab here? Wait, what? <laughs> just kidding. I got money. So you just enjoy yourself. Uh, sure. Well, let's do this. Welcome. Can I take your order? Yes. I'll take everything. You mean you'd like one of every item on the menu? Of course not. I want an amount of meat equal to the mass of one full grown cow. What? I mean,、uh, of course, sir. Both. Oh, God. Both? Wait, you mean you want two cows? Yes, right away then, sir. <laughs> wow, that was really delicious. What a great choice. You certainly have a way with food. Not many people out there who could eat two whole cows of meat. 
Anyway, what do you want to do next? I'd like to get some drinks, actually. Drinks. Okay, I know a good bar near here. I can take you there if you want. Oh, come on, a bar? You should know better than that, Kiryu san. If we're going to drink a Camarocho, it's got to be at a cabaret club. Oh, right, I understand now. I've always wanted to go to a cabaret club. This is a golden opportunity. Please, take me there. Well, you certainly have no shame. I suppose the closest one would be Jewel, so we can give it a shot. Hey. Okay. Wait, am I on the wrong street? I need to start doing heat actions on these guys. I'm not doing enough damage to kill them in one combo anymore. was a little too far east. Well, we're here. Let's have a good fight. Wait, what? <laughs> Whoa, why are you yelling? Oh, sorry. Old habits die hard. I used to yell like that when I entered in a, when I entered a room. Well, we're gonna have to relax. I don't want you uh, getting drunk and judo throwing anyone. <laughs> wow, you're so well built. You play sports? Hey. Well, sort of. A long time ago, I did. Oh, I love a man with some muscle tone. <laughs> <laughs> I like that laugh. <laughs> well, I'll drink to that. Shall we have champagne? Oh, what a dynamic man. One gold for this fine piece of man. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hold that order. Oh, you didn't want the gold? No, that's not it at all. But just one bottle? Let's not be stingy here. <laughs> Let's see. I'm sure the four of us could take on our own bottle each. I think we need four golds. <laughs> wow. You know how to party, Shinohara-san. <laughs> you heard the man. Four bottles of gold. I didn't think you were the type to order four bottles of champagne. You sure know how to liven up a cabaret. <laughs> no, that was nothing out of the ordinary. If I go drinking, that's how I'm going to do it. I see. I guess you're just an all-around party animal. So what do you want to do next? Uh, what's wrong? You didn't like the club? No, that's not it. Dinner and drinks were a lot of fun, but... I haven't found anything that's really excited me yet. You're looking for excitement. Well, there's no point in coming all the way to Camarocho to not have some kind of fun I could have anywhere. Or to have the same kind of fun I could have anywhere. I want to try something only a city like this could offer. A one-of-a-kind experience. Like the Coliseum? I see the normal tourist attractions won't cut it. Right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be ungracious. When you've gone so far out of your way to show me around. My whole life. Judo is all I've known. I'm sure you can see why I'm totally lost in a nightlife town. But I still want to find something more geared to my, towards my interests. I suppose you wouldn't find a place like that too easily. Actually, I might have an idea. What, really? Yeah, I think I know a place that'll be pretty exciting for a martial artist like you. You really think so? Please take me there. There's only one place I know in Kamurocho that could satisfy a judo master like Shinohara. That's where I'll take him. Okay. So we know where this is. Okay, I, I'm curious if walking in here... Oh, god damn it, dude. I'm curious if walking in here is going to trigger a bunch of quests. Okay. 
Bam. Here we go. Okay. Let's head on over to the red light district. Huh. Let's see. Ooh, looks like that might count as quests. That would actually be convenient in a way. Hmm. What's going on, old man? Oh. oh, it's you. I saw your achievement in the arena. I did not think you would defeat Buster. Oh, how exciting. Uh. Oh, you watched the match. <laughs> They said you were a master of brawling, but although your blows were quite beastly, your movements seemed rushed. Your style. Oh, get it? Bra brawler, beastly, rushed. Get it? Your style is still unrefined in my eyes. You lack the heart of a true martial artist. It really is a shame. What are you trying to say, old man? Hmm. I know this may seem abrupt, but do you want to be my student? Depending on your potential, you could develop your talents 100 times over. I'm busy. Yeah. I'll think about it when I got time. When you got time, how lax are you? I know for a fact that you need to get stronger now. If you value your life, you ought to rethink this. It sounds like you're threatening me. As I said previously, if you became my student, you could become many times stronger than you are now. How about it? I'm busy. Yeah. Hmm? <sighs> okay, we have to do it right now. 100? Huh, you sure talk big. Okay, sir. Oh. So you'll become my student, then starting today, you have the honor of calling yourself a student of Komaki. Komaki, just so. My name is Sotaro Komaki. You're fearless to commit to an apprenticeship with a man whose name you don't know. I'll give you that. Oh. You said earlier that I don't understand the heart of a martial artist. You can actually teach that, Komaki-san. Patience, young man. There are steps to take. I will teach you the Komaki style in due time. But that time, and that time is now. This martial arts school has thrived since the Edo period. The style's distinctive feature is its barehanded combat. Therefore, it is quite useful in this day and age. I see. But it's been nearly 20 years since I've had a student, let alone a proper disciple. What shall I teach you first? Very well. I've decided to start. I will teach you the art of self-defense. What do you mean by that? With that fierce face, I doubt you could live a peaceful existence. Mm -hmm. You all have been clash with the thugs and hooligans of Camarocho with your life on the line, do you not? Well, yeah. As I said, you are my first disciple in nigh 20 years. I could not allow a rare... I wonder who was uh, the disciple 20 or maybe 17 years ago. I could not allow a rarity like that to be needlessly killed in order to receive my training. He must survive. Well, if it makes me stronger, there's no reason to refuse. I accept your challenge. Good. Then let's begin. Now, Kiryu, I will teach you my finest defensive skill. This technique is called the Komaki Shot Stopper. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you talking about guns? Oh, yeah. Indeed. Ours is a barehanded style, but that does not mean our opponents will play by the same rules. My predecessors had to find a way to fight against matchlock firearms. Good. Hey, the Edo period has ended, man. Wait, is there a Komaki character in, like, Kenzan or, um, Ishin? Old man, matchlock guns are long gone. Worry not. I made improvements to the technique so that it works effectively against the weapons of modern warfare. It is the master's duty to evolve with the changing times. I see. So you're prepared. Just so. But words are like wind. Now it is the time for action. Okay. Is this going to be like a, a press Y and you can like disarm them or something? Very well, Kiryu. Show me the Komaki shot stopper. The two men are each carrying a model of gun. You will not die if you are shot. But it will most certainly hurt. You must learn to focus. Getting close. Okay. If they're wielding a gun, press Y. Okay. Uh, 
Ow. There we go. That's cool. Prodigious. With this skill, your chances of survival rise dramatically. Do not forget to accumulate heat as, fat as he fights. Uh. Yeah, got it. Next time you come, bring a wooden sword. In order to learn the basics of swordplay, a wooden katana will be necessary. Okay. I will definitely do that next time. The conditions required to receive training from Komaki can be reviewed on the Dragon Style page. So I think we need to um, fight in the... I think we need to fight in the Colosseum. Um, I'm going to assume I can do the Colosseum off video. If it works anything like it did in the uh, previous game, then I don't think you'll be missing much. Okay, is there a buddy down here? Oh, what is this? Oh, another casino. Interesting. Oh, but I cannot go in. Where are we? An underground arena. Fighters come from all over the world to battle here, day in and day out. It's a different kind of co combative sport. A combative sporting event, you say? The type of strength you'd never have faced in the world of professional judo is what you find here. If you're interested, you can enter. How far do you think your judo skills can take you? You amaze me to no end, Kiryu son. Getting you to be my tour guide was the best decision I've ever made. Then... Huh? This is the kind of experience I've been looking for. I think this will be the kind of excitement I was craving. <laughs> Sounds like you're willing to give it a go. Hey. Yes. I'm going to go enter right now. So is he going to be like the last boss of the fucking Whoa. arena? All right, amazing. You won those three matches like they were nothing. So even the fighters of this underground arena are barely a warm-up for you, huh? Yeah. No, everyone was really strong. I wouldn't say I won any of those matches with ease. Mm -hmm. Really? Then why do you look so dissatisfied? How observant of you, Kiryu san. You're right. I'm not satisfied yet. Not even those fighters could give me the experience of excitement I seek. I see. But I think I know what I want now. I know who would be able to bring me to satisfaction. And that man is? You, Kiryu san. What? The first time we met, I saw everything. I saw how you tore down that punk. You move like a dragon. Oh, like a dragon? It was amazing. You have something that none of the fighters here do. So you're saying you want to fight me in the ring? Yes. Would you do uh, me the honor? Of course. I accept your challenge. Okay. Let's do it. Do I need to unequip? Are you ready? Yes, I am. Uh, let's fight fair and square with nothing to hold us back. So is he going to kick my ass? This might be a really hard one. Shinichi Shinohara. Who is this dude? He is a judo guy, so I assumed he would have interrupted me there. But we're still good. This is going a little too well right now. There we go. Nice. Fuck. I I'm trying to go to the side. Oh, all of a sudden he's kicking my ass. Ow. He's now using like... Ow. 
He can just go right through me. Shit. I gotta, like... I don't know if I can interrupt my combos with a dodge. I'm trying. Yeah. That, oh, that's a counter he's doing. Can, am I, does it let me heal? In here? It does. Fuck. That was terrible. Fuck, you got me. Fuck. Fuck! None of it hit! I, I wanna... Is he's blocking, so can I not do the thing? There we go. I was trying to do the face grab one. Oh, is that a climax only one? Maybe that's why. Kiryu-san, you were exactly the man I knew you'd be. I gave it everything I had, but you still defeated me. No. Your moves were more intense than I could ever have imagined. I'm surprised I won, honestly. I have nothing but the utmost gratitude for you, Kiryu-san. I'm glad I came to Kemurocho. What? Does that mean you're leaving? Yeah. No. I'm going to stay here and keep improving my skills. So that if I ever have another opportunity to fight you, I can make sure I win. Hmm. hmm. Is that so? Then I'll have to keep improving, too. <laughs> I haven't felt so alive since I retired. I'm looking forward to facing you again, Kiryu-san. Okay. Long unbroken eye contact. That's cool. Nice. So, I think that going forward, I want to begin to train here to level up my character. I think that will be a faster way. Hmm. Let's just see something. I'm guessing that they're going to force me to unequip. Ooh, what are the... What can we get? What are these? Wait, what are these? What are these for? Hmm. Interesting. Are these for, like, crafting? Interesting. Okay, I'm guessing we have to unequip, but I just want to see what the entering is like. Okay. So there's... 10 ones, and we can redo them, it looks like. Okay. Well, I'm going to call it there, and I will be back tomorrow with some more. So if you enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Take care, guys. Mwah.